Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to visualize our JSON response in the Postman. So let's begin. So far what we have learned is that whenever we execute a REST API with the JSON body, we will getting a JSON response and that's absolutely fine. Similarly for the soup request, when we were requesting to the server with the XML body and we were getting the XML response from the server. And again, this this working really fine. But in some cases, what happens is that there is too much data in the JSON response. And here in Postman, what happens is that you need to find that particular data. And sometimes when there's too much data, it is really hard to find particular data. For example, we use uh, one of the APIs in our previous session where we were actually fetching all the employees, right? This is the API which we used there. And you can see in the response here in the JSON format, and there's so much data, right? And again, this is some dummy data. So we are getting some 24 employees, but in case you, your API may be returning 100 employees in that particular case. So it is really hard to find the data and to assert that particular data, right? So in that particular case, what we need to do is that we can visualize our data and that would really help us to see the data properly coming from the server or not. So there is an option here in order to visualize. When you click on this one, it says you cannot visualize the response. Okay. The reason is that uh, we haven't defined the template. We need to define a template here, which will visualize our data. Okay. For that, what we need to do is that we need to go to the tests here and here in test, what we need to do is that we need to define that. Okay. So in order to visualize this one, we need to set PM dot and visualizer dot set. Okay. Visualizer dot set and it will take two parameters. Okay. The first is the template. You can see here template and the body and that body needs to be passed. Okay. So here template means that how you want your response to be look alike. You might need in a graph, you might need in the tables. So for that, template means here is that you need to define the HTML and CSS first in the template and you need to pass your values in that particular template. Okay. So in this way, you can visualize your JSON response. Okay. So I have already written this code. So I'm copying this one. Okay. And I'm going back back here and just copying this here and I will explain this code to you right now. Just go back to the postman and I'm pasting this here. Okay. I'm just removing this one from here and paste it here. Okay. So now what happens is that I defined a variable with the name template and I'm getting the CSS style from the bootstrap CDN. Okay. And this is the style, the body and how my CSS would look like and okay, so on. So here, um, the, the interesting part here is that we need to define how our each response will look alike because we will getting a multiple data. For instance, for the name, I will be getting the name of 100 deploys, right? So in every card, I need to display the different card, different names. Okay. So uh, we need to define each response dot data here. Response dot data means that we are getting the whole JSON body here. Okay. Now here below here in this div, we are passing the variables for salary, age and name. Okay. This is how we can do for the each iteration, right? We are doing for the each. And here is the, is the method basically, which takes this, this particular whole template. Okay. This whole template and this will be passed here. And once it will be passed here, then the second argument is to parse this JSON. Now, let's execute this request okay now here in the body in the visualize you can see that how it looks like now we have a title with the employees employee name salary and age you can further you know add the tags here you know the labels here you can colorify it as per your requirement but this is how it looks like now the data is very much understandable so whatever i need to perform on this particular data i can easily perform on that so this is how you can visualize your data and this is really helpful in terms when there's too much data coming from the survey in terms of the JSON, right? Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. See you in the next lecture.